A word's current meaning can't be determined, let alone prescribed, by the word's history. But that doesn't mean its history isn't interesting. Idiot, for example. Of course you know that idiot means a stupid person. And you may also know that for a portion of its 800-year history in English, it was a technical term. For instance, in Old English laws, an idiot was a person who was born without the capacity to reason, whereas a lunatic was someone who became that way. But whatever else it's meant specifically, it's also always had the general pejorative meaning that this commenter deftly illustrates. But before it was English, it was French. And before it was French, it was Latin. And before it was Latin, it was Greek. And it had the general meaning of an ignorant person throughout that whole time, but in Latin and Greek, it also meant a lay person, a person without professional skills. And as a lay person, an idiot was kept out of public affairs. So an idiot was a private person. And a private person keeps to one's own self. And there we get to the root word, Greek idios, meaning one's own. As in idiosyncrasy, one's own characteristic, a trait peculiar to an individual. Or idiolect, one's own language. Or idioblast, a plant cell that differs markedly from neighboring cells. <laughs>